welcome to the 18th episode on FIFA 18 Youth Squad Legends with Lincoln City. If we go to the calendar, we have two games left at the start of May, Northampton and Gillingham, then the normal season will be done. There is a missing team though, and something that I promised you, he's doing a career mode with Cambridge United, and I said, don't you worry, Stu, next time I play Cambridge United, I'll give you a little shout out. I'll put the link down in the description. Apparently they got promoted last season so I've not been able to do it. I might never get the chance to do it because we might get promoted We, if you've been watching the episode. So here's League One and there's Cambridge United right down at the bottom. Tough luck. If you're wanting to watch another youth type of series then the Cambridge United one that Stu's offering up is absolutely fantastic. And he's just smashing them videos. That's what I like to see. Like he comes back and he's coming back strong. So go over there and send him my love. Not the Ed Kelly type with hentai just an appreciation of one's YouTube channel. Comments, comments, comments. Rui Faria sneaks into Kutzi's house before every YSL episode and replaces the batteries of Kutzi's controller with nearly dead ones. Rui Faria is the type of guy who tried to dial 911 on a calculator in England. Well, I hope everybody likes Rui Faria jokes because it's basically the Rui Faria comment section now. Rui Faria still uses MySpace and Ask Jeeves MySpace is the best and most up-to-date site on the internet. He still has a fully functioning Bebo account and refuses to use anything but MSN Messenger to communicate when online. Rui Faria farts in the toilet and then flushes it. Yeah, fart jokes. That's actually a pretty good one though. As crude as it may be. <laughs> Rui Faria was actually meant to be the world beating chosen one. However, upon arriving at the club, he stumbled upon the do not enter door that nobody ever goes inside. Due to his lack of English understanding, he stumbled upon the chairman's secret laboratory where he was compiling secret cloning experiments trying to create a team of Harvey Halls. To hide this, the chairman wiped Rui's memory and he forgot how to play football. Oh, Yuko Ike's YouTube account is back with another tremendous haiku. Welcome to Yuko Ike's Haiku Chronicles with your host, Yuko Ike. Earth, wind and fire. They made an innocent song. Bless their poor mothers. Rui Faria reminds the teacher there is homework due. Ugh. Those people. We joke when we say go suck your mum to earth, wind and fire, but seriously, the guys that remind the teacher that there's homework due, they can properly suck on it. Long Range Japanese Spectacular is actually the name of a new hentai series produced by Ed Kelly and Rui Faria. It's like FM. So Lincoln are gonna magically play a loose to Tunisia, then you'll be psyched after a 90th minute BS goal, hashtag Triggered. <clears throat> my rigged and my triggered scales are, are up there now, and I hope you're happy. Running is Wranglove in disguise. Don't agree with that. Running is actually a decent player, but over the last couple of episodes, it's looked like he's very bad because the mistakes have come from him. Maybe the goals have come from his side. He's a decent player, don't worry. Harvey Hall equals Dominico Puscobo, Kasten Yeda equals Ramizi. They're not on that level yet. But I can see where you're coming from because the chemistry is there. I've put them already in like the top three of partnerships in Youth Squad Legends. So you got obviously Ramizi and Puscobo up at the top. Then you've got Gui Matip. And then, yeah, Harvey Hall, Castaneda, why not? Most youth squad legends, we chop and change the strikers all the way through the series, but do I want to get rid of these guys? No, I, I can't see any reason to ditch them unless they want to move. Rui Faria has a signed poster of Ranglov in his locker and kisses it before every home game for luck. Rui Faria's favourite month is September. According to Kude, he has a black belt in karate, 
No one knows if he's telling the truth, but no one dares find out. Rui Furia writes haikus with wrong amounts of syllables. There is a tense rivalry between Yuko and Rui because of Rui's new invention, Rui Kus. Ah, well, you see, most of the subscribers that are commenting on this video with haiku suggestions are actually giving me Rui Kus. So how do you feel about that, lads? You're working for the devil. Some of these haikus are absolutely exceptional. In fact, I've actually like started storing haikus that are in the comments section. Uh, you know what, we might even have to do a haiku special video. Castaneda's nose can poke an eye out. Yeah, it's massive. It's also kind of flat as well. It, it looks like it's being broke. Oh my god, it looks like mine. No, no. <laughs> Cutsy, please upload faster, please, please, these are so good. Well, firstly, thank you for your kind words, but the uploads are going to stay around the same pace because I'm going to get burnt out if I do it any more. Like, at the start of FIFA, obviously, you try and get one out each day so people are fed that new FIFA goodness. But now it's slowing down, now we're all settling into a main series. The production levels are just massive on Youth Squad Legends. Now it takes hours and hours and hours of work to just make one of these. Uh, actually, you know what? Last episode, episode 17, was like probably the quickest edit that I had so far, which was nice. But this one's going to take forever because we've got like five games to go. Comment section done. Let's get on to the PlayStation 4 and look at the one for the future because we have a special player there. One for the future, Rocky Schoofs of FC Dallas. What a name. A left mid Belgian playing in the American League. Two more games, six more points to collect. If everything goes wrong, we could be totally out of the playoffs. If everything goes right, we possibly could get automatic promotion, but that is looking unlikely. I'll get the excuses in early, lads, before things start going wrong. I've not had much sleep, four hours max. Tried to cram all my weekend league fixtures into one day, which is a total mistake. And to be honest, it's irresponsible from EA and myself. Oh dear me. Oh, tool with the goal for Northampton. We're in 2017, and we've got a game that can't even lock onto a cross. Welcome to the interesting world of FIFA. Got sidetracked. I was telling a very interesting story, and then Northampton decided to gate crash everything. Ed Kelly finesse just totally off the mark. My weekend league results have just been shocking. 21 wins. I don't understand. I conceded so many crap goals against crap opponents. I got a 300,000 coin keeper. Well done, Kude, that couldn't do a Kude save like that. So my grinding meant that the weekend was free, that I could play football manager. Ring, ring, it's your boss. Can you come into work early? Please don't do this to me. Oh, Kiroga. Go on. Kiroga's second attempt. Oh, that is super close. Still Axelson against Powell there. They've been having a tussle on that wing. It'll be going back to Powell. Just defend against the cross. Roberts does spectacularly well. And there's Clark with the header. Axelson can get it away and play it from the back as Harvey Clark is bombing into the midfield. Come on, get a goal, lads. A draw is a good result with the team that we've got out. Vilho can find the net. Ed Kelly can find the net. It's not like all hope is lost. I feel like a draw might be the best result that we could possibly get. That leaves us with uh, the final game probably still in the playoffs and with Harvey Hall and Castaneda up front to seal the deal. Let's drop into Vilho. Here's Ed Kelly. The ball into Rui Ferrio. Right? Help. Rui Ferrio. Yes, it's a completed pass. Ed Kelly. It's Vilho. Everybody's shocked because Rui Ferrio has done something right. Oh! It's Rui Ferrio! Oh! We have just seen that. <laughs> and this season gets better and better. Oh! His name is Rui, and he dances on the wing. 
Castaneda up front. Unless it's someone as good as Chesterfield and Colchester we're going to face right now, we, we should be up there. We should be playing in the playoffs. The final game of the regular season, Lincoln City at home against Gillingham. Rui Faria, a disappointing future star, yeah, Rui Faria. That boy, he has stole my heart, yeah, Rui Faria. Na 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 And it's Bjorn A running inside Charlie Green casting Yada asking Harvey Hall to gallop How is that not a referee? Referee! To on to at the moment until Lincoln City get more men back, Isaac Robinson. Perfect, perfect timing. Just to step in and win that ball. Right, if we lose this one. And, and the episode is a lot shorter than expected. I, I might fill it up with them haikus that have been stocked up instead of doing a special episode. Is that okay? I don't know if that's a yes or a no. But I'm going to take your silence as a yes. Oh, the passing out from the defence. And that, that of Lavici's been poor today. I'm not liking the fact that he, he's looking very nervous. Wilkinson... Oh, I don't think going across goal with the shot was the right idea. He had a Gillingham man free at the far post. Could have played it across. Could have been an easy goal for the away team. That's it. Oh, man. The shot looped and it didn't have any power on it. But you knew from the trajectory and the fact that it came from like miles up in the air, Kude wasn't going to reach it. No, to concede such a poor goal. That is heartbreaking. Stock is in for a second. Kude stops. And Kude's there. Whew. All right, let's just think about getting that equaliser. We've got 45 minutes left to do it. We're a high-scoring team. We can't do anything. Chesterfield drawing with Crew Alexandra. Those teams are both up there. What are Exeter doing? Exeter are winning 1 0. That's not good news. Anybody else? Colchester drawing with Port Vale. Everything's on the line. There's no real inklings on who's gonna fill out those four places. Alright, who's picking up the guy on the wing? Wagster, well done, Kude. If it wasn't for Kure, we'd be down by about three goals. Not all out attack. Ultra attacking. Even though it's pretty early and the defence are going to be compromised more. No, why? Oh, Diop. That's a ball and a half. Kude! Come on, boys! Do it for Kude! I said that I didn't want to go up. Oh, no! That has probably sealed our fate. Because we have played awful. I didn't really want to go up. But missing the playoffs is a big, big disappointment. Come on, boys. There's still time. Harvey Hull. Yes, from the kickoff, Castaneda misses. Could be Harvey Clarkson and Caroga's last game for Lincoln now. So they need to be put on the field. 
And also, the probably the best ones to bring on at this stage. Maybe Martin? But that, Martin's not a creative source in that midfield. And we got Castaneda. Harvey Hall with the fit. Oh, man. The only outfield player that hasn't been a bottle job in this episode has been Rui Faria of all people. Sandoval with the cross. All in one action, that's been our game. Why are we celebrating? We haven't made it. Castaneda and Harvey Hall just didn't do it in that last game and I saved them up and I ruined our chances of victory in the first game and tried to do it tactically. So we basically ensured our position in the playoffs for the final game. I'm... Um... I'm so sorry. I, I can't believe it. I, I'm in disbelief. Lincoln City miss out by a single point. The goal difference really did kill us, even though it wasn't the final sword. Next season, obviously, is the promotion push, and anything other than promotion is a is a disaster, really. Interesting to see that Wickham Wanderers did choke in the end and drop down to fourth place, meaning Bristol Rovers go up automatically. The player of the competition, EFL League 2, Caston Yader, well done. And, of course, the golden boo... For the main man, Harvey Hall. But they were both missing in action in the final game. And you can put it down to how young they are. They need to be better. You can't have a season like that and then choke at the last minute. Totally makes sense, you know, that Castaneda is the player of the competition, but he's not a part of the team of the competition. Because yes, EA, yes. Common sense, yes. We might not have got promoted at the end of the day, but you probably know by the fact that I only left two games at the end of the season, I expected to be in them playoffs and we didn't make it. Thank you for watching this episode of Youth Squad Legends. If you've enjoyed it, then please give it a like. But well, I'm pretty sure everybody will be crying their eyes out at the disappointment, the fact that we will be in this division next season. If you're not subscribed yet, press the red box. Press the bell for mobile notifications. See you later. Yuko, take it away. Welcome to Yuko Ike's Haiku Chronicles with your host, Yuko Ike. I miss training, cried myself to sleep, now writing haikus. Walked in Ung's office, why is Kude on his knees? Oh no, I'm leaving, battery is low, recharge your controller now, EK needs to score. Bad man is Rui, he stole squid and used it wrong, Pennington breaks leg, my name is Yuko. I like earth, wind and fire, knee goals are the best. I like to score goals, no cucumbers on the pitch, my knees are deadly.